Hello, Internet. I'm your only mate, and I'm a little bit irritated right now because of some shit that happened at work. But I'm going to try to put that behind me because we have a new episode, chapter of Ruby. This is chap Volume 5, Chapter 10. Now, as I should say with all of my reaction videos, please click the link in the description below to go watch the actual chapter itself. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Then come back to watch this video. Okay? Good. Support the official release. Okay, so like I said, I was a little bit irritated with some stuff at work. And just today in general. So I'm going to try to put that behind me and hope that this puts some sort of a uh, smile on my face. Although given the preview, the thumbnail, and the title, I'm worried. Because the thumbnail has Ilya and I see in the background that Blake's family's house is on fire. I feel like I want to blame her for that. Ilya, not Blake. Well, one of those two White Fang guys that Blake's dad and son are going to fight and hopefully kick their ass. And also the title being True Colors, I feel like that's a pun in terms of Ilya. I wonder if that hints to... Perhaps she's going to decide, oh, wait, what I'm actually doing is wrong. Uh, you know what, Blake? I'm going to help you. If she does that, then... Okay. Then... Ilya will go up a little bit in my good books. Uh, so, what else did I expect from this episode? Uh, well, of course, we're getting some, like, son tag-teaming with Blake's dad. Oh, I want that to be an awesome fight. Uh, from what I saw from the preview from the Ruby Rewind podcast, we are going to have Blake versus Ilya, which, of course, we kind of got confirmed with already from the ending of the last episode. Chapter. Sorry. Well, this episode is, like, nearly... Uh, chapter! Jeez, I'm doing it so many times. This chapter is nearly 20 minutes long, so I'm wondering just how much is going to be packed into this. And are we just going to see Blake? I mean, I'm totally fine with a Blake-focused episode. As long as she she kicks some ass, everyone else kicks ass, and they finally leave Menagerie and make their way to Haven Academy. Because, I mean, come on, how soon is the White Fang attack? Plus, I want Team Ruby back together, okay? Alright, anyway... I think I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to put these on. Shut up and hit play. Hopefully this will perk up the rest of my day. Because it's not been good. And play. And here's where I cut back. Oh, I have not seen this. I thought we'd be starting off with Blake and Ilya. Things are looking good, huh? The yeah. Alchemist. While I would not say our current predicament is ideal, no, it really we isn't. Both agree that the situation could be much worse. Can something please go right for the heroes? A resilience force. Oz. Pro huntsmen like that don't just bite it all at once. Salem's powerful. It seems like mm. her reach is growing by the day. What does that say about humanity? That there are indeed a misguided few who have filled their hearts with malice. It doesn't take a great number of people to cause harm. But I still believe there are far more people in this world willing to prevent it. Um, well, uh... Excuse me? Things aren't looking too uh, great. Right. Join us. Just hopefully just things will go right and a couple of villains will die. Discuss our next steps. Something on your mind, kiddo? <sighs> yeah, what's bothering you, Ruby? Aside from... If it's okay to ask. What's going on with... Of course. Movie A about Blake? Well, uh, We've been talking about the Relic of Haven. And the <laughs> Spring Maiden, but... What about the Fall Maiden? Cinder. Cinder, yeah. Does that mean... Salem has the Beacon Relic? As far as I'm aware, she doesn't. Very astute, Miss Rose. A 
I was wondering who would be the first to ask. No, thankfully she does not. It's true that the Relic at Haven is very much at risk, and for now, that should remain our primary focus. Right, but what about the, what a beacon? The beacon uh, a bit more challenging than at the other schools. Oh. oh, fair play to you then. That's good to hear. It is, but let's not forget the challenges that still lie before us. Now, is there anything else we can help you with? Huh? Uh, well, I did have one more question. No, my cane is not a relic. <laughs> no more questions. I, I have to admit, I was wondering that myself. Yes, while this cane is indeed very precious to me, it is also just that. Precious to me. While I admit it still has a few more tricks up its sleeve, I can Ooh. firmly say that being a relic isn't one of them. Now, why don't you hmm. run and get the other students? Oh, that's Raven, isn't it? Oh, it's Lionheart. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, shit. We'll the ambush. There. Who was it? <sighs> it was Leo. Says he had a breakthrough with the council. Thinks he might be able to get together a small raiding party for the bandits. Hmm. He wants us to meet up at the school tomorrow night to walk us through it. <gasps> it's a yeah. trap. It's a trap. Hmm. That well, sounds drastically different from your original conversation, does it not? He knows something's up. It does. And Crow does too. Things aren't looking good, Haas. I know. Oh, shit. I still have questions for you. You're not alone in that. You know, I never expected you would be the one to have the guts to betray Oz. Which makes me wonder, what does she have on you? I'm helping her for the same reason you are. I'm afraid. We... Pretty much. We can't stop her. No one can. That's why I There's gotta to be when I someone. Did. I'm not afraid. I'm smart. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really Yeah, let's matter. let's just go with what Lionheart said. We're here helping her. I've crossed a line. I've done things that Austin will never forgive, and he shouldn't. I don't know where I go from here. Man up. You did what you had to do to survive. There is no shame in that. Yeah, but you're kind of screwing over the rest of humanity. Ooh. Good line there, Lionheart. I'll give you that. Oh, we're back to my mother. And she's still okay. Oh, shit. Trap guns out of ammo. Oh, good luck. Do you have a better idea? <laughs> oh, not this asshole. Quiet now. Why yell? Don't yell. Oh. Did she get him? All right, this is what I saw in the preview. I didn't want this, but you're still here. I don't Boom. have a choice. Of course you do. Thank you, Blake. You know she's right. Just stay out of my way. Nice move there, Blake. Now kick her ass. Dodging and blocking every single one of her attacks. Oh! <laughs> I like that move. Why do you feel like we have to hurt people to get our way? <laughs> because it works. That doesn't that make kinda... it right. There you go. Shit. Uh, oh, come on. 
All right, good thing Blake has another sword and a shadow clones. Oh, great. Oh, shit. I almost forgot that she can camouflage herself. Blake? Uh, Blake, use the fire clone. Light up the room. Light up the room with the. Oh, Blake sets the house on fire. Can you really blame me for thinking it was Aaliyah, though? Can't hide anymore, biatch. Oh, good catch, Blake. And still using those shadow clones like a badass. Because she doesn't want to hurt you. Then she realized it was wrong. I'm not sure what to say here. I'm not sure what to what think to is do. gonna happen. Oh, damn! No! Please tell me he's still okay. Okay, he's still fighting. But you do have a hole in your back. How is this guy taking his punches? Seriously. Make the right choice for once, Ilya. What are you doing? Fight. Ilya, if you don't make the right choices, you're permanently in my bad books. Well, in my hate books, I should say. <laughs> nice one, son. Go help Blake. On it. Kick our ass, son. Now this is what son has been needing. Oh shit. Awesome. Shut up. Please. Oh shit. Son, maybe try helping him? Okay. Good, you're doing it. Okay, he's just unconscious. Oh, shit. Blake, stop him! Shoot him! That's what he 
cooler than just shooting him. And Blake's family is okay. Well, they still have that one of those brothers that is still alive. Oh! And you finally make the right choice, Ilya. Are you guys leaving Menagerie now? So is this going to motivate all of them to say, okay, so White Fang aren't great, serious shit is going down, we got to help, sort of thing. Was it worth it? Hey, something. Blake. Let her do this. Humans didn't do this. We did this. Faunus. We did this to ourselves. We are just as capable of hate and violence as the humans, but I don't think any of us would jump at the chance to point that out. So why She's not are wrong. we letting Adam do it for us? By doing nothing and staying silent, we let others speak and act in our place. And if we're not proud of the choices they make, then we have no one to blame but ourselves. Well this said. Oh, is sorry. the message Adam Chorus will bring to the world if no one stops him. But we can stop him. You have to understand that all of you are looking for simple answers to a very complicated problem. And I can't give that to you. I don't know how to make hate go away. I don't. But I know that this kind of violence is not the solution. No, it isn't. I understand that to ask you to leave your homes and protect Haven Academy is asking you to put your lives at risk. But that's what's at stake. So I'm going. And I'll stand by myself if I have to. I'll stand with you. And Ilya's become a good guy. If you'd have me. You're not going anywhere. Let her come. Huh? You're just going to forgive her? After everything she did? I am. Damn, Blake said an example. She's learned a lesson that evaded me until I was much older. That there is strength in forgiveness. Yeah, there is. I'll go. I'll go too. I'll stand I'll with you. you. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right. Awesome. It looks like we've got work to do. Thank you. 
You stabbed me. <laughs> I, ow! <laughs> there. Let's just call it even. Okay, that was funny. We have about two weeks before Adam's attack on Haven. Wait, is it two weeks? I thought it was two days. Training. Whatever we can do to protect as many people as possible. We'll need transportation too. For everyone. I think I know a ship captain who owes us a favor. Oh. I may have accidentally hit the thing on my mic. Sorry about that. And finally leaving Menagerie! Yes! And they're bringing a shit ton of people with them. So, the Battle for Haven got a lot more interesting. We've got... I mean, I'm not sure how many forms exactly, but... Please practically raise an army. And... You know what? There's something I said at the end of my reaction to the previous chapter. I, I take it back. Elia, you've, you've learned what you were doing was wrong, and you did something about it. So, okay, I can forgive you. Not forgiving Adam or Raven, though. Still hate those guys. So, yeah. Ilya, you're okay. <laughs> I still love that last bit with Sun. You stabbed me, pinch. Now we're even. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I like that. Alright, and... Um... That scene with Ruby, Osman, and Crow, I have to admit, I myself was wondering in that very scene, is Osman's cane secretly the relic? <laughs> but... No, Ru Ruby said it first, so... Yeah, I mean, it it's like Ruby was reading my mind. And... And asked. And nice to know that Osman made the relic at Beacon harder to find. So, yeah, well, I still don't know who the hell is there. Because Salem spoke to someone in Volume 4 through those, like, orb jellyfish grim things. And said, keep looking, the relic is there. So, I mean, we know that Hazel wasn't there. What certainly wasn't there. Uh, Tyrion definitely wasn't there. She wasn't there. Cinder wasn't there. And with the Mercury went there, so who the hell was it? Okay, plot twist. What should be Neo? It would not surprise. Like... Actually, that'd be a decent way to still include her. Because I was talking with uh, Max a few trades about this. Like, is there really any point in having Neo like back in? Because she was kind of just, like, alongside Torchwick, and he's dead now. So, it might be easy just to say she's dead, too. But, I mean, if she's still at Beacon, like, looking for the relic for Salem, then I guess that... Hmm. That only just occurred to me. I'm going to have to speak to him about this. So, uh... Hmm. These are questions that must must be answered. Anyway. Uh, so, Lionheart is assisting in leading Crow into an ambush. Although, while I was worried about Ruby, Yang, and everyone, I'm hoping that Crow will realize, yo, Something's not right here. 
and then plan, like, just in case. They will put something in motion. As far as I'm aware, Lionheart still doesn't know that Ospin is fused with Oscar. Did they call him Ospin? Ospin is fused with Oscar, so... Raven doesn't know that. Sin doesn't know that. Salem doesn't know that. I hope. Because... I mean, if anything, that and the fact that Blake has practically raised an army while she's away is, like, one of the few good things that the good guys have going for them now. Because, seriously, the, like, the villains are constantly getting ahead and ahead and ahead in all their schemes. Like, can, can something go right for the heroes, please? Like, like, maybe have a villain die and please let it be Adam. Unless, like, it would help more to, like, kill someone else. It's not going to be Salem. So. Yeah. This. I, I just want Adam dead. And. Well, I have been saying I don't like Raven a lot. If. Honestly, if she dies, my reaction is just going to be. Meh. At least right now. That could be changed later. Like for instance. Before this episode. If Ilya died. I would not have cared. But. Now because of this episode. I would. I always leave change for. No. I always leave like you know. Some hope for the future. Except for Adam. Please, someone kill him. I want him to suffer. <sighs> what else? Okay, so I'm going to have to go back and like, re-listen to what uh, Cinder said about the White Fang's attack. Was it was it two weeks or two days? Because I thought she said two days. But in this, Blake's dad said it was two weeks. So, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned and confused. Maybe it's just me remembering the previous chapter wrong, so I don't know. That's pretty much what I'm what I'm guessing at. Uh, okay, really glad that I got some more Blake fighting this episode. Some great moves, great dodging, real really smart moves there too. Like no saying the. Uh, uh, Illy was blocking all of our shots, so switch to ice, freeze her weapon in the process. That was genius. Honestly, that never would have occurred to me. And yeah, I did call the whole like house being lit on fire wrong, but honestly, with how Ilya was like leading up to this chapter. And the fact that it showed her in the thumbnail. Like, can you blame me? And, uh, what else? Oh, and I guess I did call it the, the title was a pun towards Ilya turning good. Although I'm sure I'm not the only one who called that. So, I'm not going to quote DBZ abridged or anything. Just, okay, good. That's all I'm saying. I honestly forget which one of the two brothers died. But I don't think it really matters. So, hey, a bad guy did die. So, that's something. Although, can it be one of the higher-ups? Just saying, come on. The, the, the good guys need something. Uh, 
Uh, I'm really glad that I got some more sun fighting in this episode. Because, honestly, I feel like that's a department that sun's been lacking in. Like, for a while now. But this episode, this chapter helped. I feel like I keep calling it an episode. It's, it's, just, it's a chapter. Well, either or really. Does it really matter? So, yeah, that was nice. And it actually makes me look forward to an upcoming DBX even more. Although by the time this is uploaded, it might actually be out. I don't know. Because Screw Attack did say it would be this year. And the year is almost up. So... Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what I mean, it's uh, Sun versus Kim Woo from Killer Instinct. Not a death battle, so no research, just... I guess whoever Torian feels like he wants to win, will win. That being said, he is a big fan of Killer Instinct, so he could have Kim win. I don't know, and honestly, it's DBX. Who cares? Just, it's a cool fight. That's it. It's just a cool fight. And I'm just glad that Michael is definitely voicing Sun in that. Because there was a preview that showed a, uh, Extra Life. That had him say a few things. So. Yeah, that was good. Anyway, I am getting off topic. Uh, predictions for the next chapter I assume because the past few have been like heavily Blake focused I think so in the next one we're probably going to have like some more Crow and everyone else I think uh, probably a bit more like Probably more development on uh, Raven's Ambush. And actually, I won't be surprised if we have a scene where Adam gets news that... Oh, Corsic and Fennec. Those were her names. Uh, failed. And he's going to be very pissed off. I imagine him pulling a Kylo Ren and pulling out... Oh my god, he has a red sword. This fits perfectly. Pulling out his sword and just slashing a bunch of shit and rage. And I would laugh so hard if a couple, like, nameless White Fang members just stop and just turn around and walk away. <laughs> just completely reference that scene in Force Awakens. I would be up for that. Uh, let's see what else... That's, that's pretty much all the predictions I have. Who knows, maybe we'll also get like some more progress with what's going on with Blake. I haven't, I kind of doubt it though, because we just got a bunch of, I don't know. I mean, maybe next time we see Blake, it'll be like after all the... Gathering of like weapons and their training is done. Actually, I'd be okay with that. Because is there really any reason for us to go back to Menagerie? Like, what else is there to do aside from just get everyone on the boat and leave? So. Yeah. Just. Yeah. You know Next time we see Blake, I think it's going to be just them getting on the boat and leaving Menagerie. Off to Mistral. I don't know why I'm pointing. Anyway. Uh, oh, I completely forgot. Uh, Blake's mum. One, best not to scream when you're running towards someone to attack them. Although, damn. <laughs> Even in that scene, you... I mean, it was off screen, but still... For what I was saying to shit. Beat the shit out of a guy. Who is currently 
commonly called Batman, like, by a bunch of people, and, like, the lead up to this, so, Blake's mum beat the shit out of Batman. I'm leaving that there. Uh, so aside from that, the speech that Blake gave, I love that. Whoever wrote that, good on you, Aaron Zek. Major props. Been loving what you've been doing with voicing Blake, like throughout the whole of Ruby. Seriously, like. Good on you, you're probably never going to watch this, but it'd be awesome if you did. Heavily doubt it, though. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to wrap up this video because I've been going for nearly 40 minutes. So, yeah. This is probably going to work. Ah, I'm talking. Uh, as in before I end it, I should mention, while I did have a pretty crappy day at work, this... This piped up. This piped my day up. So, I'm happy about that. So, another reason why I really like this. Because after a crappy day at work, it, you know, it, it made the rest of the day a bit better for me. And I appreciate it. So, I'm probably going to wrap up this video at fucking last now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, all that stuff, and here's my Tracer outro. Bye. Blake raised a freaking army today. Hello loves, Tracer here. You've just watched a video by your only mate. Subscribe, like, comment, and check out his other stuff. Cheers loves!